Hi, this is Dominique Finney and I'm with the National Herbalist Association of Australia seminar series in Sydney. And with me, I have a woman who's absolutely passionate about mothers and children's health, who's been a herbalist for over 15 years, Sue Quinn. Hello. Hello, Dominic. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I've really enjoyed being here today. Great. Now, I understand you're working on health promotions with women um, to lose weight. Could you tell me about that? Yes, yeah, so I've conducted in the Hawkesbury um, two uh, biggest loser challenges mm -hmm. with women. We've taken 16 women and um, we've helped them with food and nutrition, mm -hmm. with cooking. Um, we, we've also had on board a mind coach who's helped them through their emotional experiences. Uh, during the challenges. Um, they've done physical challenges, gym work, and, and uh, yeah, they lost an amazing amount of weight. But I think the best thing about the programs was what it, how it changed their lives. Mm, excellent. And how, their families' how lives. How did it change too. their lives? Well, um, we, we were able to introduce healthy eating patterns for them that they can keep using for the rest of their life, mm -hmm. so they'll never go back to eating their junk foods again. Um, they were, um, they're able to help the health of their children with, you know, healthy meal plans, um, healthy lunches, breakfasts, that sort of thing. And uh, th I think that's the greatest um, uh, thing to come out of it. Because that is your area of speciality, isn't it? Yes, now, you've it written a book. Can you tell yes, me about I your have. book? <laughs> well, it's called The Breakfast and Lunch Book. And yeah. it came about um, through, uh, I was always um, having to give mum suggestions on what to give their kids for breakfast mm -hmm. instead of packet cereals. And I'd um, been a keen cook myself, I'd always nourish my kids well. So I had a lot of uh, recipe ideas and other ideas and that I guess I got sick of giving them uh, handouts to take away so I put it all in a book. Wow, when did you publish and, that? Uh, about three years ago yeah. now and it's had its second edition. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have to do a third run soon. Good. So, uh, yeah, it's been really good. What, what, what's your core information in the book? What would you really advise people to do? Um, I, I think it's about um, going back to basics with food, eating unprocessed mm -hmm. food um, and for them to know that you can actually get healthy breakfasts and lunches together without having to buy supermarket food, mm. without having to give junky morning and afternoon tea. Um, so it's, it's got a whole lot of um, hints in it about how to keep healthy snacks in the fridge, um, you know, how mums can organise themselves to do prep and instead of having to, you know, spend a lot of hours in the kitchen, mm. how they can economise on their hours at prep. Uh, yeah, just lots of lots of ideas. That's like that. brilliant. That's really lovely. And what's sort of like when you look at um, herbal medicine and diet and nutrition in your book? Do you incorporate herbs in your recipe book? I don't. Um, certainly culinary mm -hmm. herbs, I do. Um, but no, not well, not medicinal herbs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I sort of keep that a bit separate because this is this is something that. Um, yeah, isn't necessarily, uh, you know, I can sell it as a separate item to doing herbal prescriptions, you know. Um, I don't really talk too much about nutrients in there. Uh, what I will often prescribe with, with um, um, selling the book to kids is um, I, I have a special nutritional tonic that I make up mm -hmm. that's based on herbs um, and this often gives uh, kids with low appetite you know, a, a bit of colour in their cheeks and a you know, new, new lease on life that helps them at school, um, helps with concentration. So, yeah, I can do that sort of thing That's as well. brilliant. Now, how will people get hold of you? Well, um, I'm on the NHAA website. Oh, great. So the Funder Practitioner section. Yes, yes. That's lovely. And where's your clinic? It's in Richmond in the Hawkesbury. That's lovely. Thank uh, you, yes. Sue. It's been a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you.